know your is code provisions short lecture series in this short lecture i will explain about two clauses that is uh, additions to new structures additions to existing structures and the second one is change in occupancy so what are the code provisions if there is a change in occupancy during the design life of building and the first one is if there is an addition to the existing structure what are the code provisions so let's go to the details So additions to existing structures, that is clause number 6.1.7 and uh, clause number 6.1.8, change in occupancy. So additions shall be made to existing structures only as follows. So there's one condition. First condition is an addition that is structurally independent from an existing structure shall be designed and constructed in accordance with the seismic requirements for new structures. So that means, see A is old structure and B is new structure. So this B new structure is structurally independent, but this is addition to structure A. So that means what structurally independent, but functionally maybe the same building. So like there can be movement from A block to B block. So what code says is B should be constructed. That is block B or addition should be constructed as per the seismic requirement of B completely. Then an addition that is structurally connected. Earlier one is independent. Now this second one is structurally connected to an existing structure shall be designed and constructed such that the entire structure conforms to the seismic force resistance requirements for new structures. Okay, unless the following conditions, the following three conditions are complied with. So let's discuss about these conditions later. First, let's look at the, uh, if it is structurally con constructed, what code says is simple. Yeah, I'll talk about this uh, point number one slightly later. So A is the old structure, B is the new structure, structurally connected. So when B is structurally connected to old structure, what code says is B also should conform to the requirements of, uh, so A also should uh, conform to the requirements of new structure, that is B. So A structure also should be satisfied with the condition or requirements of B, design requirements of B. Now coming to this point number one, that is the other statement after comma, that is unless the following three conditions are complied with. If the following three conditions are complied with, then A and B can be independent. Means B can be with a new uh, requirements, A can continue with the old requirements. So that is addition shall comply with the requirement of, uh, for new structures. That is anyway, B is designed for new structure, new condition. Then what code says is, this has to be interpreted properly, addition, shall not increase the seismic forces in any structural element of the existing structure by more than 5%. So that means because of connecting B to A, forces in A should not increase more than 5%. That is the demand. Unless the capacity of element subjected to the increased force is still in compliance with this standard. So that means Capacity of structure, capacity of elements of A are there, but the demand has increased uh, by 5%, but still under the, uh, within the limit of capacity. That is one condition. Second is, addition shall not decrease the seismic resistance of any structural element of the existing structure, unless reduced resistance is equal to or greater than the required, that is required for the new structures. So third uh, point, what it says is because of adding, because of adding B to A, if there is reduced uh, resistance in A, then what it says is the reduced resistance is equal to or greater than required for the new structure. So even the reduced resistance of A should be more than the requirement of B or equal to B. So this uh, three points have to be interpreted 
very properly I mean, word by word if we read then we'll understand it uh, uh, correct correctly so first thing is a should be uh, a should be conforming to uh, the b there is a new structure but unless this addition is not increasing the demand by 5% and the old capacity is within the limit so then it can go as it is no need to change but if say uh, because of addition of b if the resistance is reduced that reduced resistance should be equal to the requirement of the new addition so that means new structure requirement of the new structure so that, that's what code uh, suggest now the next clause is 6.1.8 that is change in occupancy what code says in this is when a change in occupancy results in a structure being reclassified to higher importance factor so this is because of uh, change in occupancy that occupancy requires higher importance factor then the structure shall conform to the seismic requirements laid down for new structures with higher importance factor so that means the structure has to be checked whether uh, with higher importance factor uh, all the demands so demand increases so when this demand increases the existing capacity of the structure should be uh, higher than the demand so in that case this is acceptable otherwise this uh, change in occupancy is not acceptable so yeah the intention of this short lecture is to help students and uh, budding practicing engineers to understand is code provisions in a better manner so thank you